So here we have a big old table of, of travel distances between some cities in, in, in Oregon. And so for example, here Ashland to Astoria is 374 miles. And we also see that here, Ashland to Astoria. So everything is mirrored, uh, shows up in the table twice. Uh, and so let's see if we can find an efficient circuit between these cities using the nearest neighbor algorithm. And we're going to start in Portland. So I'm going to jump uh, as we go between this graph of those cities uh, and, and, and our table here. You don't really need to create a graph necessarily, but uh, it can be helpful to sort of visualize what's going on. So let's start in, in Portland. So starting in Portland, we look and say, what is our cheapest destination, the quickest place we can go to? Because remember, nearest neighbor, we always go to the nearest location. And so that is 47 uh, going from Portland to Salem. So we're going to go from Portland to Salem, which takes 47, which is 47 miles. So now we are in Salem. So from Salem, where should we go? So my nearest neighbor to Salem is Corvallis, which is 40 miles away. So from Salem, we're going to go to Corvallis, which is 40. Notice that my graph here has absolutely no re relation to their physical locations of these cities. I just listed them all in a big circle so that I could easily um, draw my graph here. So now we're in Corvallis. And from Corvallis, I'm going to say, where do I want to go next? I'd really love to go to say, wait, we just came from Salem, never mind. Uh, I'd really love to go to Eugene, because Eugene is next closest. So from Corvallis, we're going to go to Eugene, which had a distance of, uh oh, Corvallis, Eugene, 47. Yes, 47, 47. Okay, so now we are in Eugene. So from Eugene, I'd really love to go to Salem, wi oh wait, we've already been to Salem, so no Salem. Uh, I'd really love to go to Newport. Great, Newport is our next cheapest. So from Eugene, we're going to go to Newport, which was 91 miles away. Okay, so from Newport now, we're going to go to, let's see, from Newport, We've already been to Corvallis, we've already been to Eugene, we've already been to Portland, uh, we've already been to Salem. Uh, you know, just for simplicity here, let's do, let's do a better job of keeping track of this. We've already been to Corvallis, we've already been to Eugene, we've already been to Newport, we've already been to Portland, we've already been to Salem. Great, now I know I'm not going to visit any of those again. So right now I'm in Newport, right. So I'm in Newport. And of my remaining choices, the cheapest is Seaside, 117. Okay, so Seaside, 117. Excellent, Seaside, 117. So now Seaside is visited, I'm in Seaside. So from Seaside, oh, there I'm going to Astoria. Astoria is close, so I'm going to go to Astoria, which is only 17 miles away. So now I have visited Astoria. And from Astoria, I'm going to go to, uh, apparently I'm going a long ways, I'm going to Bend, Oregon. So from Astoria, I'm going to go to Bend, which was a whopping 255 miles away. Okay, now I'm in Bend. So from Bend, uh, my next choice is Ashland, which is 200 miles away. So from Bend, I'm going to go to Ashland, which was 200 miles away. Uh, and then from Ashland, I'm going to go to, I don't have a lot of choices here, Crater Lake. So from Ashland, I'm going to go to Crater Lake. There's Crater Lake. Crater Lake, which was how far away? Uh, Ashland to Crater Lake is 108 miles away. And then, of course, I need to return back to Portland. So from Ashland, I'm going to go back to Portland, which was 285, and I could add those all up, and there is my circuit generated by the nearest neighbor algorithm.